Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Pastor Rajesh Kedavi. Thank you so much for this time. God bless you and your family. And today, as a whole world celebrates the Good Friday, you know it's very important to find out. You know what happened during the week, because you know the the tradition said that week is a holy week. So what happened in the holy week? What happened on Tuesday? What happened on Wednesday? What happened on Thursday? What happened on Friday? What happened on Saturday? What happened on Sunday? Yes, we have some idea. We know Jesus was. Uh, 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 crucified on Friday on on uh, Sunday he rose again. That's what the tradition says. But you know what the Bible says. That's what we are going to find out. We are going to go day by day. So watch this message till the end. It's going to bless you because we have to know what happened. We have to know that uh, the the events which happen in all this Holy Week. But there is one important scriptures where we always. Which we have to believe, and the scripture is the Corinthians fifteen, and Corinthians fifteen is just is a scripture, the gospel message. Like if you want to know what is the gospel message, read Corinthians fifteen. That's a gospel message where they, where it says that Christ died for our sins on the cross of Calvary. He took your punishment and my punishment on the cross of Calvary. Uh, the sins which we have committed. the sexual immorality which we have committed the drunkenness which which we were indulged in the bad words which we gave he died for our anger he died for all our sins on the cross of calvary if you believe that you will be set free today hallelujah he died he was buried on third day he rose again you know this is the gospel message you have to believe if you if you want the salvation believe this that jesus died for my sins on the cross of calvary he died he was buried on the third day he rose again if you believe that you are saved you are going to heaven and your life on this earth will be a blessed life and before we go into the break up there are some things uh, which we have to know uh then it's become easy to understand now one thing is that the tradition says jesus was sacrificed was crucified on friday what the bible says that's important and this is what we are going to find out and uh, and this is not a salvation issue whether you believe that jesus died on uh crucified on friday or jesus was crucified on wednesday it's okay but it is important to know the truth because as you know that from 300 AD in the paganism entered the church the uh, the the church and the state got together the government got together and the corruption entered the church and uh, the idol worship entered the church many the tradition form uh, form the greek was influenced in the church and today we can see Uh, see the stresses. So, so thing is, it's important to know whether Jesus, uh, he, whether he was crucified on Friday or maybe some other day. Let's find out. Uh, Jonah chapter one seventeen. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow Jonah, and uh, Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. That's what what he says here. Jonah was in the belly of fish. For three days and three nights. Now, when you uh, uh, see the Old Testament phrase three days and three night, you know that's three full days and three full nights. It's not talking about the partial day. It's not talking about the uh, partial uh, night. It's full night and full day. That is twelve hours full day and twelve hours full night. So it becomes seventy-two hours. Now. Jesus has given us a clue about this. Let's read that clue. Matthew twelve forty. For when Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. That is seventy two hours. 
it clearly says here so when we say when the tradition says that jesus was crucified on friday on sunday morning he rose again you calculate does it become 72 hours no it hardly begins somewhere on 50 hours now let's uh, study this chronology as per the tradition uh, well the uh, uh, tradition says yes uh, friday uh, jesus was uh, was crucified and that's why you know we we celebrate good friday but as you know that jesus was uh, he died somewhere on 3 pm so it took time for them to take the body jesus body to the grave but before sunset uh, jesus had to be buried because the high day sabbath was there we'll come to this later on so the thing is that friday is completely gone we cannot include the friday but but uh, let's tradition says okay let's uh, include friday then we have a uh, night one that is from friday sun uh, sun set to saturday sunrise then we have day two saturday sunrise to saturday sunset then we have night two from saturday sunset to sunday sunrise and then day uh, three you have you know sunday sunrise but you know that but the bible says that when mary magdalene went went to the tomb it was dark and there was no body so so much before that jesus was risen maybe 1 o'clock in the night maybe 2 o'clock in the night 3 o'clock in the night uh, so uh, so that's a half day actually sunday so here we don't get three full days and three full nights we just get partial two days one full day and two full nights but the bible clearly says it's three full days and three full night but when we say that when is jesus was uh, uh, was crucified then we get three full days and three full night let's let's go uh, chronology as per the bible day uh, uh, day 0 uh, that is wednesday you know 3 pm jesus died now why i'm saying wednesday we will study the scripture after this and uh, before sunset he was buried so so thing is that when is the day is gone because uh, because he was buried somewhere five o'clock so we cannot include wednesday then we have night one wednesday sunset to thursday sunrise then we get day one thursday sunrise to thursday sunset we get night two thursday sunset to thursday sunrise we get day 2 now friday sunrise to friday sunset night 2 we get friday sunset to saturday sunrise and day 3 we get saturday sunrise to saturday sunset so when you go according to this we get three full days and three full night hallelujah but but the thing is that you know why Uh, christians believe that jesus was a uh, uh, sacrifice was crucified on friday see there is a reason for that uh, we will uh, study that reason and there is one scripture with the help of which you know like uh, the traditions believe that jesus was uh, was uh, crucified on friday let's read that scripture let's go to mark 15 4347 it was the preparation day that is the day before the sabbath So as evening approach Joseph of Arimathea a prominent member of the council who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God went boldly to Pilate and asked for Jesus body Pilate was surprised to hear that he was already dead so this scripture you know because of this scripture people believe yes because it says that it was the preparation day that is the day before the sabbath So day before the sabbath as you know that the weekly sabbath starts uh, friday evening to saturday evening uh, so the uh, so thing is that jesus was was uh, crucified on on friday because it says here it was a preparation preparation day uh, that is the day before the sabbath and the sabbath starts in the friday evening so they have to place the body inside the tomb before uh, 
the sabbath starts in the evening so that's why you know like uh, uh, the christian believe that jesus was uh, was crucified on friday but let's read two more scriptures then we'll understand luke chapter 22 verse 7 then came the day of unleavened bread on which passover lamb had to be sacrificed jesus sent peter and john saying go and make the preparation for us to eat the passover so it means jesus celebrated the passover and there is one more thing which is coming here the festival of unleavened bread now what is that festival of unleavened bread we'll find out that exodus 23 5 to 7 will read the whole thing uh, the lord passover begins at twilight on the 14th day of the first month when is the passover 14th day of the first month on the 15th day what you have a uh, day of being the lord festival of unleavened bread begins so after passover it's the unleavened bread begins that's a festival it should for seven days you must eat the bread without without the yeast on the first day hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work for seven days present a food offering to the lord on the seventh day hold a sacred assembly and do no regular work so thing is that uh, first thing comes the passover and then comes the festival of unleavened bread and the first day of the festival is a high day sabbath it's not a weekly sabbath it's a high day sabbath see you have to understand there is there is only, it's not that there is only one sabbath we know about the one sabbath that is friday evening to saturday morning but there is also a high day sabbath now after passover what happens this festival starts first day is the sabbath day high day sabbath where you are not supposed to do anything it's like a weekly sabbath but it's not the weekly sabbath weekly sabbath comes in friday evening so the scripture which was referring to you referring there which we just we just read in mark it was talking about this high day sabbath it was not talking about the weekly sabbath many christians believe that it's a weekly sabbath so that's why they say that Jesus was crucified on on Friday because the sabbath was starting that's not a weekly sabbath that's a high day sabbath hallelujah with the help of the diagram you will understand uh, as it says the 14th of the 14th of the first month is the passover that becomes tuesday it starts in the evening it goes to wednesday wednesday evening jesus christ was was crucified on passover day this is what you have to know because he was the passover lamb that's what john says he is a is a lamb of god you know that's why all the jews were there in the temple that time because the passover was there and no one knew that jesus was that passover lamb jesus died on the passover so that you have to do remember so wednesday wednesday you know jesus died around 3 pm and then when is the evening you know the high day sabbath starts that is the first day of the unleavened bread that's not the weekly sabbath so you know jesus was crucified on wednesday now before we go uh, further and to see all the backups you know very important to find that the Jews start their day in the evening. Their day starts in the evening, and that's why you know, like you see, uh, every festival of the Jews starts in the evening. Like the Passover starts in the Friday evening. Let's read Genesis one five. Uh, God called the light day, and the darkness He called the night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. This is a pattern which God follows: evening and morning. Genesis one eight. God called the world to sky and there was evening and there was morning the second day. Hallelujah. Now let's see what happened on Tuesday. Now Tuesday, as you know that evening the Passover starts and Jesus celebrated the Passover. So from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., you know, Jesus celebrated the Passover. And uh, the scripture is there, we'll read in the Luke. 
Luke chapter 22 verse 13 to 15. They left and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostle reclined at the table and he said to them, I have eagerly de desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. So 7 to, to, seven to 9 is the Passover time. After that, after 9 p.m., Jesus went to the Mount of Olives to pray. Uh, there is a verse for that. Mark, when they sang a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. That is after 9 p.m. And then later in the night, you know, Jesus was arrested. Let's read that scripture. Mark 14, 53. They took Jesus to the high priest and all the chief and all the chief priests, the elders and the teachers of the law came together. See, that's what happened on Tuesday. Jesus celebrated the Passover. Then he went to the Mount of Olives. There he prayed and later in that night he was arrested. Now let's see uh, what happened on Wednesday because that's the that's the very important day. Very early, six six o'clock. In the morning, Jesus was before the pilot. Uh, there's a scripture for that. What he says here, very early in the morning, the chief priest with the elders, the teachers of the law and the whole Sanhedrin made their plans so that so they bound Jesus, led him away and handed him over to Pilate. So that was early in the morning, 6 a.m., early in the morning. And then what happened after that? From 9 a.m. onwards, the crucifixion, uh, the crucifixion begins, and uh, we'll read a scripture for that. It says here, it was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The written notice of the charge against him read the king of the Jews. So nine nine a.m. you know, like the crucifixion start, he was uh, crucified, and then from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., you know, there was darkness on the on the earth, and the scriptures. Uh, talks about the darkness. Mark 15.33 At noon, the darkness came over the whole land until 3 in the afternoon. At noon means what? 12 p.m. The darkness came over the whole land until 3 in the morning. And around 3 p.m. Jesus cried out in a loud voice. And that is also uh, specifically recorded uh, Mark 15.34 At 3 in the afternoon Jesus cried out in loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken? That is the around 3 p.m. Because it says there, at 3. See, the Bible is so true. It's so precise. So 3 p.m., Jesus cried out in a loud voice. And around 3.15 to 3.30, Jesus died. And from 4.30 to 5.30, you know he was he was he was on the cross he was died but they have to confirm confirm it whether he is dead or not so that happened between 4:30 to 5:30 uh, you know we have a scripture for that uh, it was a preparation day that is the day before the sabbath so the evening approach uh, the joseph of almate prominent member of the council who was himself waiting for the kingdom of us was went boldly to the pallet and asked for the jesus body Pilate was surprised to hear that he was already dead. So that happened between 4.30 and 5.30. And as you know that Wednesday evening, the high day Sabbath starts. So they have to bury the body. So they bury the body around 5.30 p.m. You know what it says here, Mark 15, 43, 47. Summoning the centurions, he asked him if Jesus has already died. When he learned from the centurion that it was so, he gave the body to Joseph. So Joseph brought some uh, linen clothes, took down the body, wrapped it in the linen and placed it in a tomb out of the rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Joseph saw where he was laid. So that happened uh, around 5.30 p.m. And as you know, the Wednesday evening, the, the high day, uh, Sabbath starts, so it, the body has to be buried. So that's what happened on Wednesday. Crucifixion happened around 9 a.m. Around 3 p.m., Jesus cried out in a loud voice. 
so just maybe 10 15 minutes that jesus died 5 30 he was taken to the tomb now let's see what happened on thursday now as you know the high high sabbath starts wednesday evening to thursday uh, to thursday evening so no one can do anything and after 6 pm thursday evening you have a uh, normal day starting uh, after 6 pm because no one goes in the night to the tomb let's see what happened on friday now friday morning what happened this woman uh, they bought the spices from the market and uh, uh, that is recorded uh, let's read that uh, when the sabbath was over Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salomone, uh, Salome bought spices uh, so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. So that happened on a Friday morning. Then in the afternoon, you know, see, you cannot, go, you cannot, up, uh, you have to grind the spices. You cannot apply directly on the body. So in the afternoon, they prepared the spices. The scripture is there. Then they went home. And prepared spices and perfume, but they rested on the Sabbath in obedience to the commandments. So Friday afternoon, you know, they, they prepared the, they prepared the spices. Friday morning they purchased from the market. As you know, the Friday evening, the weekly Sabbath starts. So Friday evening to Saturday evening, they cannot do anything. Therefore, they rested. Now, what happens on a Saturday? Now, as you know, the Saturday evening, the Sabbath got end, but no one goes to the tomb in the, uh, in the, in the night. From Saturday evening, you know, like you have Sunday starting. Now, let's see what happened on Sunday. The Sunday early morning, the woman, they went to the tomb and let's read that. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In the fight, the woman uh, bow, bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the man said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in the Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of the sinner. Be crucified on the third day he be raised again then they remember his word so that's what happened i mean sunday morning because the bible says while it was still dark maybe uh, maybe around uh, uh, 4 30 or 5 early morning they went to the tomb but there was no body so before that you know like uh, jesus was risen so maybe Jesus was risen 2 o'clock in the night, maybe 1 o'clock in the night. Maybe after sat Saturday evening, when it starts. Because from Saturday evening, the Sunday starts. So that, that's exactly happened on Sunday. So my dear brothers and sisters, you know, the Bible is so, is so true. Everything is recorded. Jesus was crucified for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He took all our sins. He died so that we can receive the salvation. He was buried. He was buried Wednesday evening before sunset. And after Saturday sunset, when the Sunday starts, he was risen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Almighty and awesome Father God, thank you so much for this time. I pray all this most in love of Jesus Christ's name. Amen.